Welcome to tonight's WCT Game of the Week. I'm Matt Hill along with Paul Priest, and we are here at Centennial High School where the Cougars will be taking on the Independence Eagles in what should be a very good matchup. Last week we saw the Independence Eagles defeat Summit High School, and they've got quite a squad, especially when you look at the young freshman, Grayson Murphy, number two. He is a beast, and he is hard to handle. And when he's flanked by Deion Sims, number 34, he is something to behold. I mean, those guys, those guys are quite a handful. You also have got zero finish scribbling, number two, Grayson Murphy, Deion Sims, number 30, Kalen Scribbling, and number 30, 23, Austin Osborne. A lot of turnover from the squad they had last year. Uh, the Coach Glass is doing a pretty good job with a lot of young players. And here we're going to see the starting lineup for Centennial. As we look at number 12, Jalen McLean. Number 10, Josh Keller. Number 15, Tyler Dotson. Number 22, Brandon Smith. And number 33, Travis Betts. Brandon Smith right there, number 22. A lot of young guys for both these squads. And last year when we were here, we saw number 10, Josh Keller, and uh, he did a lot of crazy stuff with the ball. I mean, like some and one type <laughs> stuff. Very uh, entertaining guy to watch on the court. Someone else to look for for them off the bench would be number 20, Drew Joyner. Well, absolutely. I'll tell you what, Matt, if we had a battle of the uniforms, I'm always a uniform guy. I like the old school look of the uh, Independence Eagles. It kind of goes throwback with the Eagles and uh, – I don't know, I'm, like, the cut. I'm liking what the Cougars got going right. on. Well, there we go, man. Well, I will tell you this, the speed of this game, hopefully it'll be a little quicker than the girls' game. You know, last week we did not <laughs> see Stribbling uh, play. And he uh, controls the tip the, up the get-go. And then we see number 12, Jalen McClain with the ball. And there's the man, Josh Keller, that we talked about earlier with his uh, ball handling skills. Be interesting to see what he brings to the table tonight. Number 15, Tyrell Dotson, or Tyler Dotson, shoots, gets his rebound, puts it in for the first points of the night. Well, Independence is going to have to uh, box out, or you get Centennial more than one or two looks, they're eventually going to score. No doubt. And that's a man that can score almost at will. Scribbling elevates, and you see uh, right away Keller comes away with it. And his ability in the open court. Dotson back to Keller. Dotson trying to direct traffic. The Eagles uh, already picking on Keller. And we're going to have a block by number 11, Brian Thompson. Nice job by number 22, Brandon Smith. And looks like Centennial is definitely going to be trying to attack the inside. Yep. Immediately, Doing a good job early. You're exactly right. Immediately going inside. Osborne can't find the mark. Trying to attack the smaller unit of Independence. Down low to Betts. Betts. Back out to Keller. That bet's not looking very comfortable. No. He caught it right there in the post. He did not. I, I thought he, he had a good shot. It just would be to turn to his right. Keller shoots. Can't find it. Dotson originally rebounded it. Got the ball knocked out of his hands, and we've got a double dribble on Stribling. I, I figured out who Keller reminds me of, number 10 for Centennial. 
Marshall Henderson of Ole Miss. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled the trigger right there, and I was like, man, he's got the green light anywhere. That's a great move. Yeah. By Dodson. Out. Yeah. Very close to being in Murphy. He's like, get on the board, can't do it. Stribbling comes away with the rebound. Osborne rebounds. He's going up strong off the glass, puts it in. I like the refs are letting him play right now. Well, Thompson with his first two points. 536. Much faster pace here in the men's game. Keller. And we're going to have a foul, I believe, on Osborne. 528-42. Cougars lead. Bets to inbound. Keller pulls the trigger quickly. Stribling's going to rebound. Gets it down to Sims. Sims, I love the way he elevates. Rebound, Dotson. He seems to just kind of hang in the air. Dotson is a big guy. Yeah, he is a big guy. Oh, he's got some guns. That's back to Dodson. Dodson's going to drive over to McLean. Back to Dodson. You got to think they're going to try to do something down there. Right there, that was perfect. Nice job by Smith. Smith looked like he about wasn't expecting that ball, but he backed into nothing. Hung on to it off the glass. Murphy going to try to get on the board. Can't do it, but he's going to go to the line. Yeah, Murphy, only a freshman. I mean, and you saw the authority that he, I mean, how he, how he just put it on the ground, drove to the lane, and he's another one that can actually, he just saw him glide to the goal. And he does an excellent job free throw shooting. Well, we're gonna, I, we're gonna see a lot of Grayson Murphy. I had the, uh, I guess, pleasure yeah. of having my uh, teams play against by him. <laughs> yeah, Grayson Murphy is definitely a, uh, gonna be a uh, mainstay for the Independence Eagles for the next four years. Yeah, we got Schrader checking into the game for Centennial as Dotson comes out. 439 now, 6-3. Murphy misses the second, tracks down his own rebound as Stribling kicks it out. Sims with the ball. Sims got good handles as well and can score. Does a good job driving. Stribling sets up the pick. Thompson to Sims, Sims elevates off the glass. Looks like he had some contact. But I really do like that the referees are letting him play here. Keller. I haven't seen Keller really attack the basket yet. Well, he's got Sims guarding him, and he, Sims is a uh, very, very quick and physical. Nice move by 22, Brandon Smith. Smith two, got two in a row there. Yeah, he's got six. And really, all their points coming from inside within about five to six feet of the basket. Sims with a two-pointer. minutes now. Keller with the ball. A couple times now they've done that with Sims come and set a pick and just drop back. They could have had him there. Nice move and finish by Jalen McLean. 10 to 5. Murphy tries to take it. Schrader knocks the ball out. But there's going to be a foul. Couldn't see who that was on. Was that on Schrader? <laughs> Referee had our back to us, and they are going to say that was on Schrader. Murphy to the line. He's one for two right now, making one for three. I think we saw him make about ten straight last week. 
Daniel Draper into the game for Centennial. He's the a big, big man, guy. number 42, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> Just a plethora of big men here for Centennial. I mean, look, you see. Stribling, not a small guy, and he is just well, stribling, shoulder yeah. height there. You know, he's going to a football scholarship to Missouri. They might not be too happy he's playing basketball right now. <laughs> nice save by Betts. That was a good move there yeah, by Schrader, really just couldn't finish. Again, I like that the uh, refs kind of swallowed their whistle here. Let these young men play. That might be time to call a foul, <laughs> though, Absolutely. I'm thinking. As uh, Thompson tries to drive, and that was more than a little bump. That was on 217, Cougars 10, Eagles 6. Thompson can't find the mark here. Already tonight. Eagles struggling from the line. Makes the second three-point game now. Keller with the ball. Keller going to fire as soon as he gets it too long. Rebound by Murphy. Over to the other Murphy. You got to play against both brothers. Uh, Patrick, oh, great cut. Yeah. Pass is just a hair late. Great shot Grayson there Murphy. by Murphy. I've seen that before. <laughs> Dagger. 10-10 ball game, tied up, 130 now. Remaining here in the first. fast pace action as we've got a foul away from the ball. I believe That's on Patrick up. Murphy. Yeah. Kind of ran through the screen right yeah, there. Yeah, he took down Schrader. He's trying to get a football scholarship on the basketball team. Yeah, career. absolutely. Here's Kevon Prince. I think this young man can make a difference tonight. Yeah, Coach Glass, we saw him right there. As you like to call him, the best dressed uh, coach here in Williamson County. But I think he may be uh, having a little bit of a competition by Coach Crutcher over there, looking rather dapper himself. Uh oh. Turnover. Dribbling wisely. <laughs> oh, I was about to say slows it down. But Murphy, when he's open, he's going to pull the trigger. And you can see why. Just like that. <coughs> They were down by three, and they're up by three now. Under one minute here, Prince with the ball. Keller driving. Nice little pass by Keller. Can't find the mark. Draper not able to get it in. Get it back to your brother. <laughs> Sims now. It looks like they're going to try to let the air out of it with 30 seconds remaining. Coach Glass calling out orders there from the bench. 22 seconds. Over to Stribling. Lots of ball movement. 15 seconds now. Three-point game. Independence leads. Sims looking to drive. He's left-handed. He's going to go right to the glass. Puts it in. Two seconds. Keller fires, oh, off the glass, couldn't find the mark. And that's going to do it here for first half action. And the Eagles lead 15 to 10. Really, other than the last about 45 seconds, they were down by three. Yeah. And uh, Murphy drains two threes, and Sims drives, takes it left-handed, puts it off the glass, and they're up by five. Well, it's a three-point play, Matt, can really change things. Uh and, and you know, one of those was in transition, right? You know, I thought, I was thinking uh, that uh, Stribling did a good job by pulling up. He wasn't pulling up. He just saw that Murphy was open. <laughs> it's like, yeah. pull the trigger, young man. 
Well, Murphy got 10 yet? Or is he at nine? Uh, no, Murphy has eight. Eight? They missed a couple of free throws. He should have had 10. Yeah, he made the two there. He made the, just the two. You're right. Well, Dotson back into the game for Centennial. Prince stays in. Betts and number 10, Keller. I'm waiting on Keller to get involved in this. You said it earlier. Sims is on him, and Sims is quite the athlete, but Keller is no slouch. Thompson inbounds to Murphy. Sims with the ball. Thompson trying to get set down low. Murphy to Murphy. Murphy pulls up. Wow, what, I mean, how do you defend that? A little token press right here, 2-2-1. Two, two, Try to make something silly happen. Not going to happen, though. Oh. Smart move by Dotson to go off the glass, but couldn't put it in. Sims now trapped in the corner. Cross court to Murphy. This is where Murphy. you lose. You get it. Oh. Prince. I think he might have had it over and back there. Well, you got to have all three points. Keller's got to pull the trigger. Yeah, he, I think Keller not uh, on his game right now early. They're going to call a foul on Keller. That was a little, that was a late whistle. 7.09. I think right now in the last couple of minutes here, Centennial is falling into Independence's game. Independence wants to run and gun, find the setup for the open shots. And, uh, you know, early on, they were not letting that happen. They were setting up, running their offense, feeding the ball inside, getting good shots. And now they're running, and they are struggling with it. Dribbling with the rebound, he's going to get fouled. He's going to go to the line. They've got to get back into that set where they slow the game down and start chipping away at that lead. That's going to be on Draper. Independence wants to run. Kalen's dribbling, number 30. Excuse me, Rashawn McLemore is going to come in for Draper. Dribbling makes it an eight-point game. Prince dribbling with the reach in. Murphy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, he just got such a roll yep. and a smoothness. Coach Crutcher going to have to call a timeout. Yeah, 10 point Slow game. this thing down. And you know, when they added the press, he's added another dimension to what's happening, and they're yeah. just having a hard time. Now, you get a zone press, you're really looking for, uh, I mean, if you get a trap and get a turnover, fantastic. We really want to force a bad shot out of it. They've had one of each. So now the 10 point game is uh, starting to get away. We'll see if uh, Coach Glass goes back to the 2 2 1 full court. Yep. A little substitution problem. Let's see if they uh, got some of the kinks of that press worked yeah. out, and they don't. Sims does a great job of intercepting that pass. Remember, he's left-handed. I mean, when I say left-handed. It's left hard to tell. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's very uh, uh, ambidextrous when it comes to the ball. Oh, Murphy man. got hammered. Thompson to Murphy. Murphy is such a weapon. 6-18 now. Here in the second. Man, it's amazing, Matt. You see Murphy catch that ball, and he was heading to that basket quick. Yeah, immediately.
That is Prince's third foul off the bench quickly. Uh, just his first. Well, they, I thought they said it was his third over there. I, I, I'm going with you. It sounded like. Well, you know. With the problems the uh, scores table had in the first game. <laughs> Are they going? I believe they're going zone. That's going to leave Stribling in the open he, in the middle. He, but he elevated. Rebound there by uh, Schrader. Prince with the ball. Stribling had position down yeah. low. I mean, uh, that's what they've got to go back to. You mean Macklemore? Oh, yes, Macklemore. I'm sorry. There's Stribling. Nice job by well, Prince. Now this is where you find Murphy. He's open. That's, that's one of them. Yep. But here comes Grayson. Murphy with the ball over to Sims. Sims open, fires the three, in and out. Rebound by Schrader. Over to McLean. Five minutes now here remaining in the second. McLean going to try to take Murphy off the dribble. McLemore fires. Can't find it. He's a little hesitant to take that shot. Thompson about lost it. Keeps up with it. Picks up his dribble over to Sims. Sims, <laughs> wow. Uh, here's the guy you want. Booyah! Man, Dagger. three threes. What a, what a weapon. And that's not really Centennial's fault, Matt, because it, yeah. when, when it gets into a sloppy play like that, the ball's just flopping around. Yep. They, Independence all of a sudden remembers number two is where I need to go. And I'll trade the two for three every Man, day. No doubt. Is that 11 for him? Uh, Grayson Murphy, uh, that'd be 15. What? <laughs> Where, what, where did I go? He had eight, and then, man, wow. Easily distracted. Oh, he had the drive? Yes, you're right. Oh, man, almost had a five. The Eagles have uh, warmed up the defense as well here with 426 left in the second quarter. I tell you, as soon as Centennial got away from what they were trying to do, the Eagles just had an offensive explosion. 23-10, 4-26 here remaining in the second. With about 40 seconds remaining in the first, Centennial had a three-point lead. Yep. And you know, it, it was 10, 10, they haven't 10. scored. Yeah, they've been stuck on 10 this whole quarter. You're absolutely correct now. Thanks, Peg. Called me Al. I didn't know. Who did? You did. Been stuck on 10 this whole quarter. And he said Al. Al. Pal. So I called you Pig. Uh, Never mind. Well, Prince. Keyon Prince is going to say, I'm trying to they, break they, that. They've yeah. still gotten away from what they want to do. Yeah. They definitely have size advantage. Now, Prince is going to try his hands at Grayson Murphy, and they're just switching everything. I think it's time to say, who are we not going to guard? Because we're going to put two on him regardless. Oh, nice Thompson. move. Oh. Oh. Brian Thompson. <laughs> Thompson's going to go to the line. Smith picks up his second for the Cougars. Thompson is. He's got an interesting uh, little foul shot there. Motion. In and out. Rebound Dodson. Three for Thompson. Keep on Prince. Matt. Yeah, there Wide we go. Wide open. McLean. Rebound. Smith. Murphy picks it up. Yeah, Thompson, oh! Thompson lost a spin move. Somebody better stop him. <laughs> oh, man. The crowd would have gone crazy. No doubt. Smith with the ball up to Dotson. And we're going to have a foul on Sims. Three thirty-four now. 
Sims picks up his second. He's a deep hit. Oh, oh no. Man, man. Murphy. What if Murphy pulled up from three right there? <laughs> Takes it all the way. I just wanted to see him dunk it. No, I don't think I that was. I didn't think so either. Well, this nice could be a shot pass. right here to get the two. Oh. Break the string. Yeah. Oh, there Off the snide now. Thompson to Sims. Smith with the two points. As Smith has eight. Oh, man. 26-12. Thompson tried to screen uh, uh, Dodson. I'm not screening Dodson. I'm not. <laughs> he, <and laughs> Thompson came up a little slow. There's Coach Glass. Dodson, a big man. Not as big as Coach Glass, though. Coach Glass, I wouldn't want to take a screen from him. No. Well, 257-26-12, <laughs> your score in the second quarter. And uh, excuse me, Independence is going to have another shot here with the ball coming out of this 30-second timeout. Keeping track at home, Grayson Murphy was 17. <laughs> it almost seems. Uh -oh. Get the ball in if you want to. There we go. Oh, and there's uh, Kellers back in the game. As well, along with Osborne. They got Keller on Murphy. Keller, speedy guy. Sims gonna fire, and he puts it in. 29-12, when it rains, it pours. Pretty nice shot for the big fella. Keller, cross court, Dodson fires. He finds it. There we go. They needed that badly. 14-point game, 219. Now they need to stop defensively. Keller's having to run. <laughs> Kel Keller is staying with him, though. Keller is staying right with Murphy. <laughs> they doubled, yeah. and it didn't pay off for him. Murphy found Thompson streaking to the basket, 31-15, back to a 16-point game. Under two minutes now. Prince to Keller. Keller cross court again to Dotson. Dotson, a little long. Rebound Murphy. <laughs> Wow, he's putting on a show. Thompson, over to Sims. Now, see, Grayson Murphy's lost right here. Yep. And, and, and Keller didn't know where he was. That's that's a situation where you can't do that. Transition defense. Yeah, and, and Murphy, he just kind of seems to, in those types of things, just kind of fall away. And you got the ability to kind of hide in the offense. Sims to the line. Makes the first. Now Sims with eight, Matt. And it Rebound Dotson. Dotson's just a big guy. Prince. Elevates. Uh, Can't buy a bucket right now. There was a new rebounder right there. That is uh, Tracy Jenkins. And he had play, he started and played a lot last week. I think also that might have something to do with the fact that uh, Stribling didn't play last week. Nice pass. Thompson again on the board. Seven. Yeah, uh, Jenkins was a big factor in last week's game, defensively rebounding. Keller kind of got trapped on the line, and they have a block. I believe that's going to be on. I'm going to wait and see. 23 looks wrong. like Osborne. That's what I was thinking, but we'll see. I said 23. Every time I say who I think it is, it's somebody else. I just try to wait. Oh, you had it right. Uh, they're taking Murphy out with 58.8 seconds left. And bringing back Stribling.
nice little inbound play. Dotson just couldn't finish. 34-15, 57 seconds left here in the second. First half just seemed to fly by, especially after what <laughs> that first half in our first game. Dotson had the big three in the quarter earlier. Yeah. And Dotson and a huge six. pick on, uh, <laughs> on Thompson. Dotson, yeah. <laughs> Makes, him, makes the second, or makes the both, excuse me. 34-17. Wow. There's a... Watkins. Watkins. That's right. 45 seconds now. Thompson with the ball to Sims. Oh! Oh, man, Murphy wide open. Sims. Kind of what I was expecting Keller to do. Yeah. But hadn't done much of it. Got to think Sims is going to take him to the basket. Yeah. Want to get seconds. five seconds. <laughs> 17 now. Look for Dodson. Number 15, or maybe a putback by Brandon Smith here at the buzzer. Yeah, I, I, I think there's nothing wrong with driving and kicking out right here. Five seconds now, four. Keller gets blocked by Jenkins. Excuse me, I said Jenkins, that was not Jenkins, that is Williams. That was Calvin Williams in the game, number 24. That's gonna do it here for the first half, where the Eagles lead the Cougars 34-17, I'm Matt Hill along with Paul Brees, and we'll be right back with second half action after this. Austin, uh, why I picked this book is be why I picked uh, puppies is because it has really good illustrations and it had facts I never knew, and I just love the book when I read it. Welcome back to second half action of this week's WCC Game of the Week. I'm Matt Hill along with Paul Brees. And we are here at Centennial High School where the Cougars are taking on the Eagles. And right now, the Eagles lead 34 to 17. Big part of that is Grayson Murphy. Number two for the Eagles. Paul, how many points does he have right uh, now? 17 in the first half. He matched the Cougars' offensive output. So. Yeah. Sims and Thompson, really the whole front squad is playing very well for the Eagles. Keller, been kind of quiet tonight. And there's another man, Dotson, number 15. Spins, couldn't get it in. He's hit a three and a couple other big shots for the Cougars. And there's number two, Murphy. Kicks it over to Thompson to Sims. Back to Murphy, and there we see that uh, number 12, McLean, gets in the passing lane, comes back up with the ball, pulls up, fires a running floater, and knocks it in. 19 now for the Cougars. Cuts uh, it to a 15-point lead. Kind of a weak pass by Sims right there, trying to back, get it back to Murphy, and the turnover was made. Again, Sims a elevates. poor shot. Rebound, Thompson. Thompson mm -hmm. saves Sims for that. And uh, Thompson, is he in double digits now? Yeah, he's got nine. Close. Killer. 
finally driving. That's the first time we've really seen him attack the basket. Dribbling with the ball, gets it over to Murphy. Murphy behind the back, up and in off the glass. 38-19. He's got one direction. That's to the rack. Cross court pass. Miller fires, can't find it. I believe that's Drew Joyner, oh, number 20. Me. You're right, I apologize. Drew Joyner. The freshman. He actually played with Grayson Murphy at Page. So, <laughs> that tells you anything. Page Middle had a pretty good team last year. Yeah, no doubt. Mm. McLean could not find the mark. Sims in the lane, yeah. spins back. That's going to... Great job by Joyner right there. No doubt. Unfortunately, you got ran over by Sims. I don't know if the consolation prize yeah. is worth it. You're down by 19, but nice team effort right there. And Joyner to see if he can bounce back. As, uh, Joyner's mom was sitting in front of us, and she is not here right now. I think she's missing the action. Well, she's, uh, I know she's part of that big night tonight they had of uh, sponsor night. And so she had some duties. Yeah. Sims, up and in. 40-19, 5-13. Sims now at the double-digit mark. He's got 10. Dotson pulls up. Oh, oh, man. They just cannot buy a bucket right now. This is where you get lost right here. Murphy kind of just trailing defense. back. He's, he's kind of walking down, wondering if he's uh Is that Murphy? Yeah. yeah he's he's little, all right. Well. He's a little winded. But he was definitely just hanging back. Huh. Keller. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's Deion Sims. He's, he's not going to get it up. Come on, man. Cross court. Joiner fires. A little short. All right, here we go. A little matchup of the old teammates of middle school. Nice. Oh, oh rebound. Wow. Yeah, you're not going to rip that out of Dotson's hand. Dotson, take it to the rack. Good job by is that Thompson. That Joyner Good job finish, by Joyner though. with the rebound. You're right. Uh, Brian Defensively, Thompson did a, nice Thompson job, did a yeah. good job. Here comes Joyner's mom. Better. Better sit down. As You're she, missing it. <laughs> yeah, Keller got him with the body. 4-10 now. Here in the third. Keller's got two. Eagles lead by 19. And there we see Coach Crutcher. Well, we had a uh, legal screen on Thompson. It's two on him. So, Coach Glass is, you know, can't really get in the flow of the game. And whoa! That was, oh! Wow! Man. <laughs> what else did we go in there? Not a bad idea by Dotson, but. Three forty-six now. Nice. Inside the Sims off the glass. Good look there by Murphy. And that was a great screen by Grayson Murphy, the freshman, to get Sims open. It was a nice play. Keller tries to go underneath, hits the backboard. Rebound by McLean, and McLean puts it in. Three twenty-three now. Back to a nineteen-point game. Thompson with the ball, cross midcourt. Over to Sims. <laughs> a little trash talking between the parents, parents. and the student section. I yeah. like it. I like it. Always staying young. I love it. Oh, Murphy. Wow. Wide open. N nice. I mean, he does such a good job of getting lost in that offense and then comes open. Joiner over to Keller. 
Dotson driving. Nice play by Thompson. Yeah. It's good job defensively. And then you got to look at uh, Patrick Murphy getting that passing lane, backing him up. 2.37. Well, I'm kind of shocked, Matt, that they gave the ball back to Centennial when Centennial's the one that hit the back of the backboard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if maybe it got tipped. We'll see. Man, you got to give Thompson credit for hanging in there. Dotson. Nice Dotson. job backing him down. That's, that's what gave him that early lead, and they just have gotten away from it. Dribbling. Nice move. Can't finish. He's fouled. Going to go to the line. Stribbling, only one point on the night. He's missed a couple of easy baskets. Betts comes into the game. Oh, excuse me. Yes, Betts back into the game. Stribbling makes the second. I got a little 2 2 1. Here we go again. Forced to a bad pass or a forced bad shot. Oh, and I think Murphy may have got a piece of that. I think he did. Because really it was a nice move in the air. This is where you got to try to find transition defense. And this is the game that an Independence likes to play. Patrick couldn't find it. That's going to be out of bounds on Mc McLemore. That's set out of bounds play. You got Rashawn McLemore with a foul. And, uh, you got to like where Murphy was set up. Actually, Thompson was set up. Probably not a bad foul. Thompson elevates, man, oh man. puts it in. Man, he is on fire right now. That's 11. 45, 25, 47, 25, excuse me. Dotson off the glass, rattles it in. Physical player. 120 now. Sims across midcourt. Lots of dribble, kind of a lazy pass there. Yeah, that's Sims. He's uh, had a couple of those. Yep. Had a, had a real good night, but those turnovers kind of plaguing him a little bit. Bets to inbound. Keller keeps letting it roll. <laughs> we got a sighting of a double zero in the, according to my roster. I don't have a double zero, man. Oh, Sims. Nope. What is. Wow. Double zero is a big guy, too. Wow. Call that on the floor. That was a lot of hand gesturing. <laughs> that referee. <laughs> I don't know if someone who needs sign language checked in. I don't know. Uh, 14, Pierre Watkins. Oh, Stribling came over the top. Nick Bell is uh -oh. double zero. He's a freshman. You know what? He is a freshman. I remember he played at Woodland last year. He's a big guy. Well, I mean, you can tell. And as a freshman? I mean, you saw him push, <laughs> push it around, scribbling down low right there. Kind of lost it. 35 seconds now remaining here in the third. Watkins with the ball, cross midcourt. McLean all over him. 
going to draw the foul. Kind of a cheap one. Uh, Got to give credit to Coach uh, Crutcher, using everybody available yeah. on the Centennial bench. A give and go off the inbound. Sims oh. off the glass. Not going to put it in. And we've got a block by Bell. Well, they give Nick Bell five fouls. He's probably going to use them. He was probably told to use them. Yeah. Sweep the leg. <laughs> oh. Sims has 12. And you know, here's my old kind of thing. Sims has got to make it, or if he doesn't make it, he's coming out. Oh. You know, usually guys will miss that free throw so they know not have to come out. That's, Grayson that's, Murphy. <laughs> well, they see that guy sitting there, and, they, and the referee says, oh, he's going in for the shooter. At second free throw, all of a sudden, it's missed really bad. <laughs> Keller. Going to get. Oh. Dotson hangs on to it. Bets from the corner, can't find Five it. Five seconds, don't leave Murphy. He's got it. Oh, oh my, my Lord, in and out. <laughs> That's going to do it for the third quarter. Or the Eagles lead the Cougars 48 to 27. Murphy almost added three to that. Now Murphy has 21. Uh, Matt, I, you, make, you homemade make these uh, score sheets for us. And we you, are out of. And you take it all the way up to 20 points. And <laughs> this is one Whew. of the few times I've had to uh, extend and go into the rebound section. We, we've actually had it happen twice this season. We had uh, Brentwood. Who was it from Brentwood that went over? Andy Shumpert. Andy Shumpert. Andy Shumpert caught fire, and I, I think he did the same type of thing where he, I think he had 16 points at halftime. And uh, kind of really slowed down in the second half, but still. He was blowing it up. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Andy Shepard, the Bruins, Bruins uh, are playing we the. Got, do you see this? Right. Centennial student section about took the floor, <laughs> and uh, vice principal stopped him. Hey, you earned your money. <laughs> Again, Brentwood's playing Ravenwood in the Battle of the Wood Part Two. Drove by there about 5:15. Packed house. And it was already the parking lot was already full. Murphy down low to Stribling. Stribling elevates. Man, he just he cannot just went up buy. between the two of them, didn't he? You're, you're right. He can't buy a bucket. He's had some really good looks. Timeout, Coach Glass. And you take Stribling and you put, a, he should at least have about eight right now. He's missed about three buckets right underneath. And you saw the athletic ability he has right there. Two defenders flanking both sides of him, and he just elevated right up between both of them. No. 48-27. 4 Osborne tried to take it all the way. Yeah. Not going to happen. Dotson elevates. Wow, Dotson has also had some troubles with some of the shorter shots. He does have a three tonight. Murphy, cross court, Thompson. Yeah, foul on uh, Keller. Kind of ticky tack there. 7-11 now here in the fourth. And now we're going to see Calvin Williams, number 24. I'm assuming he's coming in for Keller. I think this may be the last reserve that maybe we haven't seen. I'm not sure if we have not seen, seen tri Joe Holdeed. Excuse me. 
excuse me. You, you know what? You're right. Oh, man. And Nick Bell. We haven't seen Brewer Atkinson, number five. I don't believe he's been in the game. But I don't see number five. Uh, there's young man with his. Uh, he's got his ankle wrapped. Uh, yeah. He definitely does have his ankle wrapped. So, Stribling shooting 1-1 after being kind of undercut on that alley-oop play. And that's not a bad look right there. Going to make it three for the night. You know, I give, uh, give Tyrell Dodson a lot of credit for Centennial. He has just been a workhorse. Nick Bell. Jenkins in, Bell with two. And Coach Crutcher's gonna call a timeout. And then right now the Battle of the Woods in double overtime. They're well, that was there. actually Franklin and Summit. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what they said. Franklin and Summit, 55-55. Double, wow. double nickel. So up by 20, Coach Glass not happy about something defensively right there. We're giving up the easy layup to Nick Bell. to get it into Bell. Right down to Stribling. Osborne driving, running floater wow. off the glass. Bird-esque. Bird-esque, that's two for Osborne. Sims just so quick out there, he really can. Nice job on Murphy. I mean, it doesn't even look like he's trying. And one. Oh, that's 25 for Murphy with one more to come. There we see Keller, McLean, and Schrader come into the game for the Cougars. Murphy completes the three-point play. 5.45 now. And Keller's got to pull the trigger there. I think he's just as confident as we've seen him in the past. Yeah. Uh, I think Sims' defense in the first half really kind of threw him off his game. Thompson yeah, reaches nice in. Draws the jump ball. Centennial has the arrow. Straight to inbound. Out to Prince. Man, nice job by Keller. And that, and that is the Keller that we have seen so many times here on WCTV. Just driving what looks like he's almost out of control, but it just hangs on the ball and just finishes with some 
amazing shots. Well, the timeout by Coach Crutcher. Get a little momentum going. Tell you what, that those young ladies down there throwing out the free popcorn boxes. They get, did they get one up here? I'm not sure. If they could, I'd catch it. I would, yeah, I'd catch it. Wyatt? Wyatt's doing some dissecting of the, of the pin up here. I like four it. Four-color pin. It's my favorite pins in school. They're pretty awesome. My favorite part about them is they were free. <laughs> Thompson across midcourt, 5'17 now. Oh, Keller picking up another one. Yep. That may be four on him. And just some cheap fouls, too. A lot of them away from the ball. Oh, nice block out by Nick Bell. Going to get Stribling over the back. But still not quite in the one and one. You know, looking at the Cougars, yes, they're down by 25 right now. But you look at this roster and some of the young guys that are playing, uh, you know, that have got some minutes tonight, Drew Joyner, Nick Bell. Uh, a lot of young kids on this team that really can play very well. You just right over there. Well, that's going to be off. I think maybe a little piece of that. Yeah, I, don't, I will say this, uh, Matt. Five Centennial minutes. missing a big key cog in this team. Emmanuel Hall, uh, the, I think he's probably about 6'6", six, six, wide receiver, and slash Mr. Track. Wow. As Sim hits the three. You know, he got injured on the very last game of the football season in the playoffs. Keller with the charge. And that's five right there. So that's going to end Josh Keller's night. Five fouls, two points. And Emmanuel Hall, uh, he's got a couple offers on the table, correct? I believe, well, I believe Vanderbilt's offered him. I'm not quite sure, but I do know this. He's a state champion uh, high jumper. They were talking about him <laughs> on uh, one of the local uh, Radio shows, and I know Vanderbilt is head off. Is that right? Not sure that that uh, you know if that stayed with the change regime change there. But they're also saying somebody else as well. <laughs> I don't know. You missed it. Did you miss it? I did. Uh, I ball was rolled really on my the, roster. One of the, the kids picked it up. Yeah, one of the students picked it up and threw Made it up it. from put in the bottom of the basket. Murphy. Block Nick Bell. Little, uh, Nick Bell saying, remember me? <laughs> Played at Woodland Middle School. Wow. Oh. Calvin Williams. Still got plenty of time on the clock. 425 here in the fourth, 59-31. Lane going to go to the line. Both teams now in the bonus. And defendants in the double. Lane with five. A little fresh pressure by Centennial. Oh, nice job by pass. Prince. We'll read that. Kept it alive. Prince open down there. Murphy. Couldn't find him. Oh, my goodness. How does Murphy? That was a three-on-one, and Murphy came away with the ball. And Williams. Yeah, Williams finishes. Look at that. Almost picked another one up. Oh, oh my. Wow. you no got to be kidding me. Williams. Picks up a couple of cheap ones in the end. Nice finish by Williams. But it was all based on Grayson oh, Murphy's yeah. passing. Yeah. And then oh, the no-look no pass to Sims, and then Williams did a great job rebounding. Bill, I'm surprised there he we pulled go. it up. Prince, Prince. Yeah. can't find it. Rebound, Patrick Murphy. There you go, little brother. Thompson, 
Williams. Williams, quick six points. <laughs> Welcome to the game, young man. <laughs> He's got, the, he's got the look. He passes the eye test. Sims picks up a cheap one. Oh, that's it for yep. Grayson Murphy, the yeah, old we, swan song. Yeah, we got Drew uh, Joyner coming into the game. And let's give it up Adoption. for Grayson Murphy. 26 points on the night. That's some amazing plays. Oh, wow. Raider got the big rebound, couldn't finish. Watkins. Sims a little out of control. Yeah. Rebound Prince. Nick Bell's Bell. not taking that. Oh, come on, Nick Bell. Pull the trigger, son. There he He'll goes. He'll take that. Oh. Tracks down his own rebound. Oh, my. Oh, couldn't get it. Murphy, though. Patrick. He's going to, that's automatic charge. Yeah. That uh, referee loves the charge call. No, he's done it a lot tonight. <laughs> Coach Glass having a, having a nice laugh about it. There's uh, Grayson Murphy. Relax, buddy. Take a break. Get some water. Yeah, just a freshman. A lot of freshmen out here. Making a lot some of time. freshmen playing. Both, uh, both Joyner, of the girls' Nick game Bell, and the nice yeah. game. Future of Williamson County basketball looking good. I like uh, Calvin Williams as well. Got to move our feet, yep. young fella. Yep. Now I was checking the roster, Matt. Calvin Williams is senior. Not many seniors on either one of these rosters, really. Stribling, Thompson, Williams, and Sims for Independence. Can't 100% uh, sure about Centennial. I don't. Keller is a senior. Uh oh, we got a lot that was. Number one, Thomas Huberg. Huberg is going to go to the line. Well, Matt, we have hit the magic 35 point mark. Unless something major happens, we're going to have a continuous clock the next two minutes and 27 seconds. Wyatt likes that. He's got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Hang on, Wyatt. Well, we're going to have a foul. Rebound by Williams. Strong effort. Yeah, we're talking about a bunch of young guys on the court here. We've got a uh, bunch of old guys running the show here tonight. Our WTC, our WCTV crew. We got Lance down there. It's like a. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. If we want to copy tonight's game or anything else you've seen here on WCTV, you can give us a call at. 615-472-4032, it's $10 per game. Check out our website at www.wc-tv.net. Check us out on YouTube. Check out the Coach's Show, Jack Daniels Coach's Show. I missed it this week, but you always get a lot of good information from him uh, having the coaches on there talking about what's gonna happen, what's gonna come up. But as we said earlier, Lance down there with uh, Creed, holding everything down. Lance doing a much better job than the scorer's table in the first game. <laughs> Absolutely. 
and uh, right, Kelly Ann and Tyler kind of flip flopping with the camera down there. And we got Luke up top. Bell. I like it, Nick Bell. There we go, lands right to you. You gotta like that. Yeah, nice job by McLean finishing 133 now here in the fourth. Hewberg loses it. McLean <laughs> banged by his own man, but puts it in anyways. Yeah, give Drew Joyner an assist on the uh, kind of the old blockout <laughs> head to the uh, head to the basket. Of that clock is still running. Yep. Bell to inbound. Over to Prince. Prince going to drive. This is over. Oh. oh, man. Almost a clean block. <laughs> 31 not on our roster. <laughs> but it was a good block. Well, there's a foul, but no, we'll I'll take it. Smith. Can't put it in. Well, I'll tell you what. This could be our, well. They're trying to discuss, they keep the clock running. I was gonna say this could be the last play. <laughs> now they stopped at the Maybe. last timeout. Did they? Yep. They're not timeout the last time they were shooting a free throw. I guess they're in a free throw league. Well they have cut it inside uh Yeah, they're under 35. 35, now. so down to 30. Watkins. Make it 31 now. 45 seconds, turnover, Watkins with the ball. Up court, Huberg off the glass, <laughs> can't do it. Rebound, McLean, running floater. Rebound by Watkins. It is a track up beat. Up and down the court. Carter, back to Watkins, back to Carter. Carter's gonna fire, he's not turning that down. Oh, in and out, Bell with the rebound. Under 20 seconds now. You know what they say, don't foul. And there it is. And now the clock's still running, now they stop it. <laughs> They're gonna have to hire Lance over there maybe to keep the clock, I'm not sure I'm what's going you. on. <laughs> $20 a game, Lance, would you do it for $20 a game? Yeah, you got the, we got the thumbs up. <laughs> they said that's better than 1565. I'm getting paid right now. <laughs> Cut the rate. Well, Wyatt, glad you're here. Matt's oldest son, first grade. Yep. First grade. He was top two can this week. I don't know what that means. But here's what I do know, son. Get your jacket on because this game is just about done. Watkins, a lot of control. Oh, not happening. Well, that's going to do it here from Centennial High School. For Paul Brees and the entire WCTV crew, I'm Matt Hill. You're a nice man, and Coach Glass picks up a win as they win 70-39. to And the Eagles pick up another win here in district play to help them out as they head towards the district tournament. We'll be back next week where we'll see Independence again. Thanks for joining us.